Hi, I'm Lisu. I'm a 27-year-old doctor and I quit my job to explore how people live on water. And for the next two days, we'll be living on Lake Titicaca's floating islands. Can you imagine that instead of living in a house, you would live on an island in a hut made out of grass? On Lake Titicaca, the highest navigatable lake in the world on 3,800 meters on the border of Peru and Bolivia, this is exactly the case. They were Uros people. But what's interesting about the Uros people is that years ago, they went and built islands. They literally built islands out of grass. This is the Totora reed and this is what the islands are made of. They are floating. On the map these islands look like there's nothing. There's just water. You would ask why would people do that? Why would people want to move? There's houses, there's whole infrastructures built on water. They're literally on the water. There's no land under where I'm standing right now. The ground definitely feels a bit floaty. The reason was simple. There were other tribes and they simply seeked refuge. It was quite successful because they could live their peaceful life and no other tribes would bother them. But eventually Incas did find them and the worst people integrated to other indigenous groups but the islands remained and over a thousand people on 80 plus islands still live like this to this day there have been many different types of people living on the land that is now Peru Incas for example who built Machu Picchu or as people who built those floating islands but they're not there anymore only the stories of those tribes remain. But to show how rich the culture in Peru is, there is still three national languages. Quechua, Spanish and Aymara. Living on those islands is not easy because they have to be attached to the lake floor because you don't want to go to sleep in Peru and then wake up in Bolivia. And peaks and ropes are used to attach them to the lake floor. Another big issue is that because it's a biological matter, it rots and the Totora reeds have to be replaced every couple weeks to months because the part that is in contact with the water is slowly decaying and rotting. And every tourist who steps foot on these islands actually accelerates the process and creates more work for the locals although tourism is their main source of income. It's amazing to see how much you can do from one plant. You can build full islands, you can build boats, you can build houses, and the plant is even edible. Although the locals prefer fish and some even grow chicken on their land. They're tasty, like a spongy cucumber. This is why we chose to live with local people for two days because it's the best way to give back to the community and one of the families. It has been one of the most unique experiences of my life and definitely a memorable way to see Lake Titicaca. Would you be ready to live on grass islands and consume what the nature gives? Hope you enjoyed Uros Floating Islands and see you next week for some new adventures. Bye.